the method resolution order that we saw in the last lecture is used by the built-in function super also. This function always invokes the next class in the MRO. In an earlier lecture, we had seen that when we override a method in the derived class and need to call the base class version in that method, we could use base class name or we could use super. So here we had used super to call the parent method. In single inheritance, there's not much confusion as every class has a single parent in the inheritance chain. But in multiple inheritance, a class can have multiple parents and using super avoids all problems. Let's take an example of multiple inheritance and understand this. So here again, we have taken the same example of multiple inheritance that we saw in the last lecture. We have this class person, teacher and student inherit from person and this teaching assistant inherits from student and teacher. All the classes have defined this method greet. Now in this class, we have called the parents version of greet in this overridden method. Similarly, here also we have called the parents version of greet. Now this class has two parents. So we have called the greet version from both the parents. Here we have an instance of teaching assistant class and we have called the greet method on it. So this greet method will be executed. Inside this method, we are executing student.greet and teacher.greet. And then we are printing this statement. So first, this will be executed. Now this in turn calls this person dot greet. So this will be executed and then this will be printed. And then this teacher dot greet will be executed, which also calls this person dot greet. So this greet method from the person class will be called two times. Let's run this and see the output. We can see that the greet method from the person class was called two times. Now let's replace these base class names with super. Now let's run this. We got the perfect output and the greet from person was executed only once. This is because the function super follows MRO. Let us see the MRO for the teaching assistant class. This is the MRO for teaching assistant class. When the super function is invoked in this class, it refers to the student class because it is the next in MRO. And then here again, if super is present, it invokes this class because it is the next in MRO. And then here again, if super is present, it invokes this class because it is the next in MRO. So we can see that super follows MRO and it does not always call the parent of a class. It calls the next in line based on MRO. So we have seen how these super calls perfectly call the base class versions without any repetition. This repetition can cause real hard to find bugs when dunder init is called using base class names. Now suppose we have an instance of student class and we call the greet method on it. Then super here invokes the person class because it is the next in MRO of student class. Let us see the MRO of student class. This is the MRO of student. So when super is invoked in student, it invokes the person class because it is the next in MRO. So this method resolution is used by Python when searching for attributes in base classes and it is also used by this built-in function super. So it is good to use super whether you are using single inheritance or multiple inheritance. In multiple inheritance, the advantage is obvious. In single inheritance also, super can be beneficial if there are some updates made in the future like changing the name of the base class or switching to multiple inheritance. Thus, it makes the code more maintainable.